Ma'am? How? Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. Do you think your cousin Calco will teach me to throw a lasso? I'm sure she will. This is going to be great! There's cousin Calico's ranch! I'm raring to go! Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. Did you see the rustlers who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. It says, just buckles. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. What's that big thing? I thought you only made buckles. 
Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure. Is that what I think it is? It think. Oh! Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. I'm Perry. <gasps> er, uh, Apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers? Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round. <laughs> Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loo. What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy! Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Look, Freddy. Maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Five, two, six. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello! Eight Fingered Phil, Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. What can I do for you kids? One sassafras soda, please. One soda on the house. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. One coral soda, please. You bet. Oops. Thanks, anyway. Don't worry about it. Gale Rider! I'm looking for Finn Eastwood! You feel guppy? Well, do ya?
It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. That could be the rusty rustler they mentioned in the note? Hey, maybe it is! Come on, let's check out that hatch! Okay! Meet at the rusty rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Five, two, six. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. The 
That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm. A purple 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it. And a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in, because this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hey, Freddy. Can we eat this note now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. You hogfish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. I guess whoever was working here is done now. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. It's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left a coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Hair Slam special super stew. My own recipe. Oh, not quite ready. Say, is that a bandana you've got there? Sure is. Very handy. Although sometimes I wish I had something sturdier to carry my gear in. Another purple sea urchin! This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello.
Hello. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Swim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. That's not gonna do me any good. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect! Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we could borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. There's a handle missing from this crank. Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. I think I need that right now. I have a screwdriver, maybe that could fix your door. <laughs> a screwdriver? You could poke someone's eye out with that. No thanks, I have a new door on the way in the mail. Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Ugh. 
The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Takes a little longer that way, though. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Driver will help. It's a bone. round and purple and pokey. It is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I will Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. <laughs> Look out! Boy, that was fast. I don't think that was enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. Seems to take him a little longer to chew. But I still don't think that was quite enough time for us to get by. Uh, anyone eat so fast. That's not gonna do me any good. Maybe we should give the shark a purple sea urchin. I think he'd just chomp it.
Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. I see you're looking at the gum. You have a good eye, little lady. That happens to be Super Rubber Bubble Bubble Gum, the best, chewiest bubble gum available without a prescription. Oh, that's the last pack available. All the rest is, uh... Reserved. I'll let you have it in exchange for just two purple sea urchins. We'd like to buy your pack of bubblegum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away, or if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you, and I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Oh boy, a real 10 gallon hat. Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Excuse me, uh, Mr... Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my gold star. You can't be a sheriff without a gold star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. This buoy looks a little tired. It's barely floating. Look, it's a suitcase. It's no use. It won't budge. I'll bet that anchor is almost as heavy as my Uncle Blubber. And he's a whale! How come the buoy is only floating a little bit? It looks kind of deflated. Oh. <laughs> We made it! I knew we could do it! It's a crank handle! Didn't we see something a while ago that needed a handle? What was it? I can't remember. Well, we'll take it with us. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin!
Got a handle on that tail. <laughs> Here, let me help. Luther, you are. Oh, that's better. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! It's lemongrass. Is that anything like lemonade? It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it though. Really? Okay. round and purple and pokey. It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. M. S. This letter might come in handy. G. S. I might be able to use this. One letter.
What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Ought to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, he looks very happy. I like this gold starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. fish instead of the other one. Okay. Get the name Sahara Slim. Why, I once crossed the Sahara Desert in nothing but a glass full of water. It took three weeks, but I made it. Wow, is that true? Mostly. Looks like your bandana is getting a little frayed around the edges. Yep. Eventually, I figure it'll wear out altogether. Someday, I'd like to get something a little sturdier to carry my gear around in. an idea <coughs> be free little boy is it coming back down I don't think so Luther oh bye bye buoy look Luther this suitcase had a three ton anchor on top of it and it's not even scratched. Wow! Mm. 
Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish, and we know where they are. Can you go and arrest them? I can't help. I'm not the sheriff anymore. A shrimp without a gold star is, well, just a shrimp. Here, I think this is yours. It looks a lot like the star I used to have, except mine was gold, of course. Ah, uh, those were the days. That's not gonna do me any good. Uh, what is our next job anyway? We're supposed to be making a pyramid out of barnacle flats. Is a pyramid round? According to our blueprints, it is. gold starfish. Let's take it instead of the other one. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. What's in the stew? It's mostly kelp root and tumbleweed branches. Plus, a few secret ingredients. There's three cups of paprika. Isn't that kind of a lot? Not for a super stew. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty 10-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found, Sheriff Shrimp. Back in town! But we know where the rustlers are! You there! That's a 
loading zone! Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride! Yeah! Oh boy, a 10-gallon hat! This is great! How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please just go to sleep. Please. What it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said your calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you put me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure. I just need a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and whatever letter you want on the front. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! I just need a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and whatever letter you want on the front. Here, can you make us a belt buckle with this on it? <gasps> sure! Just bring me a rounded piece of metal to use as the back part and I'll get to work! That's not going to do me any good. That's not going to... Cousin Calico, we saw one of the rustlers. You did? They're at the old ship, the Rusty Rustler. That's good work, both of you. Any sign of the hogfish? I'm sure the hogfish are there too. We could get inside and rescue them if we looked more like rustlers. Dress like rustlers, eh? That sounds like a good plan. But how do you know what a rustler looks like? Oh, we have a picture. Oh, good. Did you try singing this little piggy, like I said? Well, try it. Listen, I gotta go, customers. That's not gonna do me any good. Boy, the water sure is warm today, isn't it? It's gonna be hot water for those wrestlers when we catch up to them. I think 
these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got a hat just like that. Our hat is a different color, though. We still need the belt buckle and the bandana. Here, this suitcase looks a lot sturdier than that bandana. Kobe, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle fit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another Wheel Nut? We don't need another Wheel Nut. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? 
I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? At last. Hello, Mr. Tippet? Go away. I'm busy. What's there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. Mr. Tippet, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back! that's missing is about. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Thank you. 
do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! This will make me look even more like a ruffler. Okay, do you think I look enough like a rustler? You're very rustly. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. Your hat's all wrong. That's last year's color. So I can't let you pass by. I bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. I'll just take these off. looks nicer now. to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh. We did it. We're inside. Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers. What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What do we do now? <laughs> It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Phew, these are heavy.
These are the missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. What's this? It looks like a telegram. Stop worrying. Stop. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. You know who. Hmm. Very interesting. What's with all the ice? One of the rustlers brought it in here. I have no idea why. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. I wonder what this does. Wow! Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the boat when you drop it. There's no slack in the chain now that the anchor is down. I wonder how we're going to get those bars off. Maybe I could use this chain to yank those bars out. I like the Wild West. I think I see something behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. After we solve this case, we'll learn to be real hogfish ranchers. Hello? Hey. Hello? Hello? Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. <laughs> Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. we going to do with that? You'll see. It's nowhere near long enough now. I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. This is a nice Dirty chain. This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy. Fire away. Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? 
I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Luther and I happened to be passing by when we saw Sahara Slim sending a telegram. The telegram said, keep them on ice. And then when we got here, there were big blocks of ice in with the hogfish. That could be a coincidence. Except we also found the telegram. No, oh, it's true. It's my telegram. I'm Mr. Big. <laughs> I still don't understand why you wanted us to put ice in there. Well, I didn't mean that literally. It's just an expression. It means to keep them locked up. Now he tells us. Yeah. I'm sorry, I meant no harm. I'm just so tired of traveling around all the time. And I thought maybe if I had some hogfish, I might be able to make a go of it as a rancher. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers, but we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. <laughs> It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten-gallon hats? Yours is a five-gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. The deer and the animal play. Oh, <laughs> you